the Adler Planetarium. Glad you're joining us for Imagine the Moon this hour. we got a great show for you. We're going to be learning a little bit more about Earth's nearest neighbor in space, as well as introducing you to an all-new theory about the moon's formation presented for the first time ever in a planetarium show. Something we're all very excited about here at the Adler. We hope you enjoy today's presentation. Meanwhile, while you're getting settled, enjoy a nice uh, holiday motif overhead and enjoy some leaves you don't have to rake. When was the last time you looked at the moon? Not just noticed it, but really looked at it. To most of us, the moon seems like an afterthought, a thing we might notice in passing and then not give a second glance. But the moon's place in our lives is so much more than just its physical presence in the sky. It is a constant companion in our collective imagination. In our minds, it can appear huge, like this. But in the real sky, it only covers a very small area. Imagine you're holding a piece of fruit in your hand at arm's length. What kind of fruit do you think would just cover the moon? A cantaloupe? Plum? How about a blueberry? It's that small, whether high overhead or just rising above the horizon. But in our imagination, it appears in blood red or maybe blue. Is it really made of cheese? Where's that cow anyway? Do you imagine bouncing around on the surface or doing the moonwalk? No matter what you imagine, it's clear the moon isn't just a dusty old rock in the sky. All those songs and nursery rhymes and bedtime stories and myths based on this is are more apparent. Our brains try to make patterns out of these regions and in our imagination, the moon comes alive. You might have heard about the man in the moon, 
But what about the woman? Polynesians see her as the moon goddess Hina. Many Asian cultures see a rabbit. What do you see? Leave the green here, Sky Pip. See when we observe stars and suns and galaxies in their movement, we can feel the pull, the gravitational pull from this matter, dark matter. But we still haven't seen the particles.